Well, guess who's on the telephone? Lisa with a coworker. Lisa? Yeah, Wendy. I, I am so glad you called because you know I tried to call you and that number that you gave does not work. I know I was scared, but Wendy, I'm not scared now. Oh, okay, so you intentionally gave us the wrong number. No, not really, not really. Okay, well... I, but I intentionally wanted to call you back because I'm telling you, Wendy, this got to happen today. Okay, well, it, can it go down in exactly seven minutes? Yeah, we, I got his number. I'm ready when you're ready. Okay, good. Perfect. I'm going to put you back on hold. I'm going to make sure that Joelle, a.k.a. intern, a.k.a. hood rat intern, if you notice I'm calling you Joelle all week because, you know, the last hurrah, I want to acknowledge people who've been here in the studio helping me. So Joelle, who just graduated from St. John, um, and this is her first job. She's actually not an intern, intern anymore. She's turned it over and make a couple dollars with it. But they'll probably let her go as soon as I leave on Friday. <laughs> And so with that in mind, she ain't got no love for nobody. All right, hold on, Lisa, okay? All right, Wendy. All right, hold on. Um, Joelle, make sure you get Lisa's information, okay? Let's ride out with a good third-party input call. All right. Lisa, Lisa. Yes, Wendy. Okay, Lisa, I'm going to call him, okay? Hold on, okay? All right. All right, and you don't hang up. Look, Goose is not here. Um, Mensa, I know, I'm sure you know how to make it so that we all conference in together. But one false move, Mensa, and we'll lose Tyrone and Lisa, and then I'm going to be mad. Oh. oh, come on, Mensa. I can't hear myself dial. There. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm nervous for him. Okay. Why are my palms sweating? All right. Turn this music off. Turn this music off. Hello? Tyrone, hi. It's Wendy. How are you? You're on the radio. What's up, Wendy? How you doing, Tyrone? I'm good. What's up? Good. Okay, so uh, how was your weekend? It was good. It was good. What's up, Wendy? You spent time with your girlfriend and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And your girlfriend and you work together? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a co-worker named Lisa? Yeah, what's up for her? Okay. Oh, gosh. Lisa has informed us. Wait, first of all, Mensa, how do I get all these calls on one line? You don't know. Mensa. Mensa, you no, you just hung up on her. You just hung up on Lisa. Tyrone, get that off. Tyrone, you just hung up on him too. What the hell is a blind being a genius? You know what? Just don't touch anything. Put the phone back up. You're lucky this is the last week. Exactly. Turn this back up. Damn it. Just keep in mind, just because somebody says they're part of Mensa, doesn't mean that they know it all. Damn it! I told him just enough. He's probably over there at Lisa's desk now saying... Yeah, hello? Yeah, Ty, it's Wendy. Hey. All right, so you're back on the radio. Listen, Tyrone, your girlfriend is having an affair with the boss. What? And I am missing all my sound effects because you guys are over there talking in the pit. I said, Uh, your girlfriend is having an affair with your boss. I knew that, Wendy. Oh, oh, perfect. Wow. So what are we going to do about it? Nothing. You don't care. Wow. No, Wendy. See, what it is, it's actually, it's a plan. We get extra money like that. Oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, she takes care of the boss. I'm with her wife. I'm with his wife. We get extra money like that. Are you gay? Nah. Just asking. Has, have you ever tried to just get with the boss yourself and cut out the middle white man? Nah, just the wife. Not just the wife, Wendy. Wow. So does the, wi- that does the wife work there also? Uh, yeah. So it's a, it's like a family-owned business, and you and your girlfriend work there? Correct. Well, you want to know what? Then I need to call Lisa and tell Lisa to mind her own business. Lisa's mad because your girlfriend already has a corner office, and she's been working there less times than Lisa. So Wendy, Lisa... all mad. What can I do? It's a recession. They're all mad. I love you, Tyrone. <laughs> yeah. All right, Wendy. I'm going to call Lisa. I just want to hear her reaction. All right. Stay away from Lisa's area. Let me have the surprise of calling her, okay? All right. Bye, Tyrone. All right, Wendy. How are you doing? You know what? <laughs> just when you think everybody's calling you a dumbass, Mensa. Tell that idiot to hit the flash button. I live for this mess. LMA, shoot Mensa's dumb ass. Wow. Well, Lisa, I know you heard the following. You will never get a corner office because you don't bring your knee pads to work.
But we're going to call you up to get your reaction to the all of the above after these messages. Um, it's still advice hour. We called Tyrone. Tyrone has a girlfriend. They both work together with Lisa. Tyrone's girlfriend is messing around with the boss. The girlfriend has a corner office. Lisa's mad because Lisa's been working there longer than both of them. Lisa wants to blow up the spot on the girlfriend and wanted to know how. I'm just the girl to do it. Lisa? Please leave your message Mm -hmm. for... All right, we're not playing with Lisa. Lisa's got egg on her face about now because Tyrone knew all along that his girlfriend was messing around with the boss because Tyrone's messing around with the wife. Tyrone, everybody's texting and talking about how you doing. And all I know is that the only one that loses out on this one is Lisa, who's toiled away for years at the job, um, and she's not telling on anybody, because now two against one, they're going to tell on you. And if you get the boss and his wife, everybody's going to fire you.